young people. It was a very gratifying day. When I walked out and got in my car, the first thing that hit me, if any of you folks look at me today, do you ever wonder who your best friend is in this world? Who's the first person you call when you get really good, really bad news? That's how I kind of figured it out for me. So I wanted to call Connor immediately and then Connor. That was one and two for me. Now I was working at uh, Lowe's at the time, which I didn't care for, but there were some pretty good company Lowe's and that's But anyway, um, and, uh, but I just sat in my car and I had this big smile on my face. And I took the rear view mirror and I just looked at myself and I went, I'm so freaking proud of you. <laughs> you are trying to help people in this world and you're not having the worst of lumber. I really don't care about lumber. <laughs> But I realized I was like a nine or nine and a half now. And I and sometimes it depends, I always say I didn't drink a bottle of beer and I didn't snort coke or I didn't do drugs or do a prescription pill. I wrote my gratitude journal and I helped some people, specifically this Janice lady. And I was gonna call Connor, but I just drove back to Seattle with a big smile on my face, thinking, wow, look at the impact that you're having. What is Rotary service above self? Why are we concerned about Wee Day? I go to Wee Day with Mark and there's 16,000 kids, just like other people. It gives you such a great feeling about who's coming along next. But those kids, Rotary, service above self, they're gonna need tools too because life can be difficult. In fact, I think in some cases it's maybe more difficult for them today than it was when we were growing up. But it's so important to have some tools. So, the last thing that I talk about, embrace gratitude, takes as long as it takes, don't ever give up, make room for gratitude, get a gratitude journal, if you get one of mine, fantastic, if not, get a spiral, try it, I'm on the radio a fairly amount, of, fair off, a fair amount of times, rather, what's your last comment, Dave, for the people on the radio today, just try a gratitude journal, so I dated this gal once, and uh, she said, uh, she was on the stuff, she was on kind of impressed, so I said, well, yeah, I'm a gratitude guy, I gotta try the journal, let's try it for a week, she goes, uh, I think, well, that's a good excuse to I mean, it, it's just, it's fine, but just try it. It makes a big difference. But what happens is the thing, and think about service above self, think about rotary, think about how when you help other people, if you want to help yourself, help other people. So to me, one of the things I do all the time is talk about why do I share gratitude? Why do we all share the, I already heard it, the district conference barely even started, the things we're passionate about polio, and water, and all these different types of things, if you're helping somebody else, it makes such a huge, huge difference. So I realized when I was sharing gratitude that that's ultimately kind of the thing that makes such a big difference. And again, we can make a difference in people's lives, and that's what's so important. So, oh, that reminds me. Uh, does everybody have business cards here? For the most part? Let's just do this first. Two. So can you, I want to give away a book real fast. Can you guys just want well, to talk about something? Can you guys, Sue, can you just get their cards? I want to just draw their books. I'm going to wrap up in like five, ten minutes. Now let's do the card. Oh, and by the way, I do send out a video. If you don't want the video, put an X on your card because I send out a two minute video every Monday morning at 7 o'clock. But I do want to say something why she's collecting those. How many people here have ever written a book? Not easy, is it? Dave? Well, there's ways they can help you, but I'll tell you, I made no bones about the fact that uh, this is just a journal, and I've done some books too, but it is hard work, but you're trying to convey your message, but I remember, I try to always do that, let's draw for books, I can give away a journal, or what have you, and um, it was about six months ago, I forget what it was, I think it was the Kiwanis, it was a good sized group, and so, they do the whole thing, I get the cards, I pull out the card. Sally Smith! They all laugh, and Sally comes walking up and is right in the center, and I get the big smile on my face. Here you go, Sally, and I hand her the book, and she smiles, and I give it to her, and I say, hey, by the way, if you'd like, I'll sign that for you later. She goes, that's okay. <laughs> so, if you want me to sign it, I'll pay you 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was looking for John Grisham or something. Uh, anyway, and you know, and I will say this, I was thinking about this 
drive it up today. I usually give away one of my other books, and the biggest thing I sell by far is the journal. These journals sell for $15. And I try not to give away because people don't seem to take them as seriously if they don't buy them. But I'm going to give one today because I just feel that I think I'm going to start doing this because I'll say to people, that book you want, did you write in it? It takes five minutes a day. Well, I'm working on it. But if they pay 15, uh, they don't seem to do it as much. So, um, let me just draw this thing real quick here. So, somebody has a user on here. And please write in it. Um, Laura. <laughs>